Hey there. Um, today I'm going to have a look at the extension for Maya 2014 version and mostly looking at the modeling toolkit. Uh, the next modeling toolkit for Maya, um, it's added some awesome new features uh, and a lot of people are still avoiding it from being buggy from the early releases or not working quite how they want. The extension for Maya here, uh, it's a new one, uh, new as of this video anyway, uh, has improved heaps of the features, so let's have a bit of a look. I've got a retopo going on this character, and um, up until recently with my character pipeline I've been using 3D Coat for my topology, I know a lot of people like um, ZBrush or Topper Gun or whatever, but um, being able to do it right in Maya is, is really good. Um, teaching students how to retopo, a lot of the time when they retopo they'll forget things like the fine detail modeling like teeth and a mouth bag or going inside the eye because of these other programs sort of and the students thinking that it will just do it all for them. So having it in Maya allows you to, to use the standard modeling tools at the same time as the next toolkit. So I can have a look at um, quad draw is the main tool I've, I've worked out so far and to show you some of the features. This is what I've done relatively quickly with Quadraw, but I can uh, start on the other side and show you a bit of the features. So straight up you can just click, 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 click with left click and then shift click which makes a quad. And I can go around the mesh and, and do that as much as I want. For any 3D cut users this is a, a great replacement of uh, the points and faces tool. So pretty much works the same. But it starts getting better when we activate some of the other features available. If we hold down shift and control, we get extend mode. We can click and drag. And based on the setting down the bottom here, if we've got it to edge, it'll just pull an edge out. If we have it on loop, shift control, it'll pull out a whole face loop. With this mode, um, we can use component editing with middle mouse to move verts, faces, or edges. There's no separate component modes for each. But that said, um, one of my colleagues mentioned, you know, I, I miss the standard Maya tools. I'm just going to hit the hotkey for insert edge loop tool. Bam, it works. Straight back in the quad draw. Or split polygon hotkey. I can split a polygon straight back into quad draw. It works. Uh, next hotkey to learn, control. Control, click, deletes an edge, face, or an edge loop. Undo works really reliably and well. Some plugins can't do the same. I'm going to continue around the eye and delete. I'm going to delete out some of these faces just to show you the next feature. I'm just going to go around the eye with points and faces while I pause the video. Okay, so I've made it around the whole eye just by going click, click, shift, click, all that stuff. Um, one thing I'll note, there's a clear dots button. All the dots are gone. Okay, so the, the next extend feature we have down here is border, and it's really useful for radiating topology, for like around the eyes, maybe around the nose, and the big nostrils there, maybe around the mouth, the radiating topology you need around those sort of muscles. So the border one does that. So we can extend it out, and then we can just insert edge loops. If we hold down shift, click, click, you'll notice it's conforming to the mesh. So that's one of the big um, things that have improved with my extension. If I bring back my UI, the live has sort of changed how it works. My live needs to be activated for the quad draw to snap to the surface we can click on the magnet to disable it. If we select a mesh, this is a Dyna mesh from ZBrush by the way, that's why the mesh is so triangulated and weird. Um, we select it, we hit the magnet, and it's now live. We get these nice pop-ups that let us know which surface is live, and they've changed the UI up the top here a little. Um, we don't have the horrid green lines anymore, um, you may remember if you've used this feature in the past, uh, which is quite nice. And the retopo always draws on top of the screen in the real-time rendering as well, which is done quite well. So, some more features. We've looked at 
adding a face with shift, extending with control shift. Um, one of the really cool things it's got is this relax, the relax algorithm or whatever they're using. I don't know if it's Myers one or their own, but it's really good. It lands, things tend to land in crevices, it's not too harsh. It seems to work on small and large scale meshes quite well. And uh, yeah, so relax is good. You just left click to do that, to relax. Nice and easy. So next one, uh, I haven't been using this as much, but it is really cool. Uh, is extend, if you hold, it's the same hotkey as extend, control and shift. Then you middle mouse to select the size of your quad that you would like. And then you just click and drag, and it creates faces. So we can then relax it out or, uh, you know, extend, I forgot to mention before, extend with uh, shift control snaps in live, and that actually welds the vertex and everything, so the snapping is really good. With the deletion that I'm doing now, we can actually hold control and click and drag and do a large deletion. So if I do a lot of topology that I don't want to stay on the mesh, I can control, drag around it, and delete it all. Got a face there that's stuck. I found my first bug. It must be an error. Now, well, punch out of next. Go to face mode. Delete and gone. Back into quad draw. Oh yeah. Um, that's all the features I've learnt so far for um, Retopo. With the same thing can be used really for. For just creating mesh, uh, if you want to, like the tool works really well, just to just to model shapes and things and whatever you might want to do. It adds a lot of those little features that programs like Max had with like the just dragging out edges and things like that. Or you can make shapes quite quick, and um, if you combine it with your already existing sort of Maya features like marking menus and hotkeys and all that other jazz that Maya's sort of good at. Um, combine it with, you know, the stuff that um, the modeling toolkit adds to Maya now, and can work really well. So it's replaced uh, other applications now for for me in my pipeline. I think with Retopo, um, I guess with the exception of Z Remesher from ZBrush, but I I can see myself using Z Remesher and quad draw together to, to have a real powerful pipeline. So, um, thanks guys.